Hello, everyone. 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 In this channel, we'll be introducing hidden gems in Kyoto. So, if you're a Kyoto lover and plan to come to Kyoto someday, be sure to subscribe to enjoy more content. So, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Fukuyoshi is a sushi restaurant in Kyoto where our chef prepares sushi right in front of your eyes. Today, we had a chef that has trained for over 20 years prepare the perfect sushi. They only have omakase course meals, which means the chef will decide every menu by choosing the best seasonal foods for you. Ah,、oh, it's beautiful. After entering, a Japanese style waitress called Nakai san took us to our reserved room. With the restaurant being a 120 year old Kyoto style building, the interior of the room was very traditional. Although the room was a Japanese room, there was some space underneath the table, so we were able to sit with ease. Even if you're uncomfortable with sitting in Seiza style, you can enjoy your meal here. Oh, looks like beer and food are here! The first dish is sea bass mixed with Japanese parsley. The chef told us that the sea bass took a week to dry and mature. And cheers! Cheers! Yay! Bye! Oh my gosh. I think I might have never tried it before.、Mm. But he did say it's made in Kyoto, though.、Mm. The texture is like leeks, kind of like leeks, but it has a little bit of bitterness. Bitterness.、Actually. Yeah, that's right.、Mm. Oh man, and the flavor of the dashi.、Mm. That is so good. Exactly, exactly. Oh, yeah, that is. Oh, <laughs> really?、Mm. It's really <laughs> fluffy. The second dish is clear soup called Suimono. Inside the soup is codfish and grape flour. Oh, wow, the instant you open it, the、mm -hmm. fragrance just. Explode. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> This is a tara. That's a tara.、Yes. Try it out for me. It's super tender.、And、you can see it's really fluffy. You know, when I was holding it with my chopsticks,、mm -hmm. it felt really tender.、Mm -hmm. But once I put it in my mouth,、mm -hmm. it just started to break apart. Exactly, exactly.、Mm -hmm. That's right. Oh that's my、right. god. That is like the ultimate level of fluffiness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. And the taste, of course, is amazing. Like you、yeah. said, the soup stock is a little bit different from the first one. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The third dish is flounder and sea bream sashimi. Sashimi is regularly eaten with soy sauce, but you can enjoy it with salt as well. To our surprise, the salt that was prepared is actually handmade by the Taisho, meaning the main chef. He told us that it is made by extracting the essence of sea bream broth. Wow, finally, you get to have the raw fish too. This looks so cool. So let me go both the soy sauce and the salt.、Uh -huh. Yeah, one each. Here we go. Try the soy sauce first. I don't want to put too much on it. Oh my gosh. The fish is almost clear. Really? You can almost see through it. Oh, really? Well, this might be our last video, guys, because that was. That's taking me to heaven. <laughs> <laughs> this is really, really good.、Mm. You can really understand that the quality is super high because there is like. No unneeded taste in it. The taste is really, really clear along with the fish, the appearance, you know. Okay, so that was the regular soy sauce. You usually try sashimi, eat sashimi、mm -hmm. with soy sauce. Let me try some of the salt. Mmm. 
The salt is actually crunchy. Mm, yeah, I gotta hear the sound. Mm. <laughs> it tastes amazing, mm -hmm. actually. Mm. This might be my the first time in my life that I might say I actually enjoyed the salt taste more than the soy sauce. Really? Yeah. The delicious meals really make you want to have more drinks. For our next drink, we ordered some sake. The recommended sake they brought was literally named sake. It was Japanese sake that the Taisho is into now, and it had a clear and strong flavor. With this sake came the fourth dish, bonito. And by the way, because we were like focusing so much on the bottle, but the mm. color is so I know. beautiful. Right. The redness is just amazing. Exactly, exactly. Wow. Oh, that's a nice wrap. Mm hmm. We got two chuckles. No. I couldn't stop myself from laughing <laughs> with the first bite because it's so good. <laughs> Really, really rich flavor, but incredibly soft. And the sesame seeds are absolutely a little bit roasted, mm -hmm. I yeah. believe. Yeah. Mm. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, and of course, we need to try out the, the sake called sake. Pakimasu. But I believe this is rather sweet. You know, they're sweet and dry. Yeah, yeah. And sake right. too. Mm -hmm. I believe this is sweet sake. You might have noticed I cannot stop anymore. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Before the sushi, some onigiri rice balls were served. The rice used for sushi has vinegar added to it in order to prevent it from going bad. Therefore, by eating simple rice balls beforehand, you can enjoy the original flavor of the rice to its fullest. First bite, I'm not gonna put in anything. Just mm -hmm. regular rice ball. Mm -hmm. But seriously, it's so <laughs> soft. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like exactly. you were saying, each rice grain is so fluffy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Feel each existence. So yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. I guess it totally depends on who prepares it. Like mm -hmm. the, how much you put in. Power, you know, yeah. exactly, exactly, mm -hmm. to make it. Oh, that is so nice. Uh, okay, I'm also gonna put, oh. One. <laughs> Big piece there. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna put some miso on there. Right. That's gonna taste really nice. Yeah. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's geek in it. Yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because it's um, miso. Mm -hmm. I was really expecting a much stronger taste. Mm hmm. But it's no, actually no, no, not. No. Mm -hmm. It's a good balance. It is, yeah. Mm. Wow, I really want another one. <laughs> <laughs> just the rice. Yeah, just the rice ball. <laughs> The next dish is Buri Daikon, which is yellowtail simmered with radish. The day of this video filming was during winter time, when these radish are at their best, so they were cooked with their skin unpeeled. So this is the Buri Daikon. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, Buri is one of my most favorite fish. Okay, then he told us to eat together, right? Mm, that's so right, yeah. I'm literally going to be eating it together then. You don't feel the skin of the daikon, the radish, at mm. all. Mm. Mm. Yeah, they said they left the skin on, right? Yeah, they must have stewed it for a really, really long time. Oh, okay. This is completely soft. Mm. Mm. The booty is amazing. Mm -hmm. I usually say I like raw seafood the most, but if it's gonna be comparing with this booty, I would say they would come in even. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Next, we had the sushi prepared.
The liquid that the chef is putting on his hand is water with vinegar added. The vinegar prevents the rice from sticking onto the palm. However, applying too much will decrease the flavor, so the right amount is crucial. The sushi we were first served were tuna, sword tip squid, and hair tail fish. So I'm just gonna be tilting it to the side. Gorakimasu, this is so exciting. You know what? You would think that I enjoyed the topping a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Now, me enjoying the topping is obvious, mm -hmm. but the rice... <laughs> oh, rice again is amazing. It's because if you're living in Japan, you have a lot of occasions eating cheap sushi too, right? Mm -hmm. Once yeah, in a right. while. Of course. Yeah. yeah. But this is so different. And the biggest difference is actually the rice. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. I want to leave the... Uh, the middle tuna here in the mm -hmm. last. I actually love squid eating squid too, so. There we go. Oh gosh, it looks so beautiful. Mm. Really thick. Really? Mm. Mm. This is the, the thickest squid sushi I've ever had. There we go. It's shining under the light. <laughs> I would be happy to leave if this was my last dish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It does have a really fatty taste, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it's not oily at all. Because, you know, fatty tuna usually tends to be a little too soft. Yeah, exactly, exactly. But this one, it has That's... that... Exactly specific tenderness to kind of let you enjoy the flavor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my god, that was so amazing. Oh. <laughs> it's gone in like three seconds. But... <laughs> Seriously, I cannot eat other sushi than this now. <laughs> <laughs> the next group of sushi were rockfish, prawn, and arc shell. Oh, I need to stop myself from drooling there. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. I will like to start from the akai, you were saying, mm -hmm, yeah. on this side then. It looks very different from the regular akai sushi. Mm, that's right, mm. yeah. Oh my gosh, let me try this out. Very thick. <laughs> it's gonna be your hand gesture. <laughs> Meaning the sushi topping is thick. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely the best I've ever had. The the flavor, the depth of the flavor, the texture, and again the thickness. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> the thickness matches perfectly. Everything meets at a perfect point together. So, and then the noroguro. noroguro. It's actually a very expensive type of fish. Yeah, it is. Mm. It is. Beautiful color. Thank you. Best today. Best for me. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're roasting on the outside. 
Is that right? Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Mm. Yeah, I think they're a little bit roasted on the outside. Mm -hmm. That and then my whole body is now has a flavor of the mullet roll. <laughs> There's to be honest, I think it literally comes like to here. Mm -hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the shrimp. Oh right. Mm -hmm. You I'm know, sure you <laughs> I like how. Even though it's all prepared and ready for you, mm -hmm. you can see the shape yeah. of the shrimp. You exactly. know, this side's the head and this side's the tail. Man, mm -hmm. now that is just a piece of art. Itadakimasu. See, mm. see? Every, mm. every bite you get. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You're savoring the moment. <laughs> Is a really strong shrimp. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess yeah, the yeah. mussels are really tender. I think so mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. And like you were saying, each bite brings out the flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The fourth and final set of sushi were sea urchin and conger eel. The stand for making the sushi is a cutting board made from maidenhair tree wood. It's super large, isn't it? He told us that the hardness of this specific material is not too hard nor too soft and is perfect. If the cutting board is too hard, the blade of the knife may get damaged. And if it's too soft, it will be difficult to cut the fish. All right, so we have our third round of sushi. The middle one is the conger eel with salt. Salt, yeah. Which is the one he told us to eat first. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay, I'm pretty sure no one would understand this expression, mm -hmm. but it's like I ate a bed. It's like, it's so fluffy. Uh huh. No, it's like I ate like a really, really fluffy futon. Yeah. No, okay. Seriously, it tastes like that. Really? Mm. It's the fluffiest anago conger eel I've ever had. Okay, in my life wow. Before. And the salt was really good too. Usually, though, I believe sauce is more common. Yeah. Mm. Go. Mmm. 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 The sauce is completely different from the regular kind you would imagine. But I guess the cheap ones, maybe with artificial ingredients, mm -hmm. is like, what should I say? The sweetness, this has sweetness in it, but it has depth in the flavor. Mm. You know, it's not just like the surface sweetness, if that makes sense, mm. guys. Mm. So hard to explain. You know, the sweetness is like really more mild yeah. than the regular ones you would expect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And you know, because it's mild, it kind of like brings out the original flavor of mm -hmm. the conger eel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Usually these kinds of um, sushi, mm -hmm. you'd only taste the sweetness of the... Uh, yeah, exactly. That's what I said. The, kinda, yeah. Yeah. the artificial kind yeah, of Yeah, the artificial sweetness. Right? sweetness yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So that was actually like the sauce to kind of enhance exactly, the conger exactly. eel. And guys, to be honest, I love sea urchins. So this is, I can't believe I'm going to be eating this in one bite. <laughs> Seriously, that is a lot of sea urchins. Mm -hmm. Sushi needs to be eaten in one bite, so. Now usually, you have the sea urchins and you have the rice, right? Mm -hmm. And then you usually you don't have that much sea urchin on the rice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you have sea urchin and then you have rice in your mouth. But because there's so much sea urchin, there's sea urchin and there's rice in the middle <laughs> inside your mouth. The flavor and the taste of the sea urchin mm -hmm. is so strong. It's the best I've ever had. Mm. 
The last dishes to finish off the course were kampyomaki and rolled eggs. The Taisho told us that the kampyomaki is a dish that he has carried on from the restaurant that he trained in. What's really surprising was that the rolled eggs the Taisho prepared took three hours to make. Right, so this is the last one they brought us. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Gampiomaki is a really typical kind of maki sushi. Yeah, like, mm. roll, roll, roll sushi. sushi. Yeah. yeah, but the flavor is so rich because it's so typical. It, there are a lot of cheaper ones too, right? You know, sold at just supermarkets and stuff, but this is not gampiomaki. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm usually not a big fan of gampiomaki actually. Oh, really? But this is a Amazing. Mm. And then the egg. We need to be really thankful when we eat this because mm -hmm. it took three hours to make. Wow, it really literally looks like it's, an, it's a cake, you know? Mm -hmm. Wow, thank Again, just like the kampiomaki, this is a completely new dish. <laughs> <laughs> it is not egg. No, it's not an egg anymore. <laughs> if you put three hours and a many, many years of training yeah. into one egg, you know, cooked egg, mm -hmm. it turns into something completely new. <laughs> it's evolved into something completely new. Yeah. It's a completely something different, something much, much more delicious than you imagine, mm. you know? So then, we finished eating everything. Yes. I guess it's time for us to go. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just got out of the Kuryoshi town. It was an amazing experience. So you probably heard Kazu and I talking a lot about the food. So if I talk about something else, I was really, really amazed by how friendly the chef was. And of course the lady, the staff was very, very, was very friendly too. But you have an image that the sushi chefs, the craftsmen of Japan mm -hmm. tend to be more strict, you know, about their own job, yeah, you know, right. uh -huh. and stuff like that. But he was like, a really, really friendly person. He answered all of our questions. And I think that was definitely one of the highlights of today's experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's for you, Kazu. Everything was super delicious, wasn't it? Of course. Um, well, there's not much more to say about the taste. It was mm -hmm. just completely amazing out of, of this course. world. Of course. Uh, for me, I guess the most ex amazing thing about this experience was oh, yeah. that you get to really enjoy the sushi being made right in, right in front of your eyes. Yeah, that's right. And, you know, not just looking at the techniques, but also, like you were saying, chatting with the chef. Mm -hmm. You know, he was uh, saying um, some funny jokes. And, yeah, you know, right, yeah, yeah, right. I just love the whole atmosphere. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It was just simply amazing. And it seemed like he had a really good relationship. It's probably his apprentice, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right, that's yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that, that was really, really, really nice too, yeah. to see. Yeah. All right, how's for you, Toko? We're really sorry we weren't able to, to let you eat yeah, everything. We're really sorry. Yeah, we'll try a little bit of the sushi. Yeah. Mm. I could focus on shooting. Uh -huh. mm. And especially, I was surprised at how fast he made sushi. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And each sushi, uh -huh. the piece is small, yep, but sorry. it's really satisfying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right, because he has put a lot of effort and feeling into it. That's so. right. Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. So then everyone, if you like to have this once in a lifetime experience yourself, please take a look at the description box because we have the link to their website. And our goal is to achieve 1 million subscribers by January 2023. So your help would mean a lot. And we'll see you in our next Kyoto Hidden Gems. And thank you so much for watching. It's not raining anymore. Yeah. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye.